Hello everyone and welcome back to the Agumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Luash US K95. These masks were sent to us by a viewer. Here is the listing page. They come in a box of 20 for $21.99. These masks are made in the USA and they also state to be a minority and woman owned manufactured. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this mask really quick before we test it with our TSI machine. So this is a K95 bifold style. They don't have have any sort of marking on them. They also state on their listing that they are a five layer mask with three of those layers being melt blown. This is how they look from the inside. They are a very soft material, but one thing I noticed when I tried opening this up is that it does have a pretty stiff nose wire, which sometimes is good and sometimes it's not because it's really hard for you to adjust it to your nose. The ear loop material is actually pretty soft, so let's go ahead and try these on and see how they fit on my face. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to adjust the nose wire. So, so like I said, it is a pretty stiff nose wire, but sometimes it doesn't really help because it's actually very hard for you to adjust it to your nose shape, kind of with what I'm struggling right now. So I am noticing quite a bit of collapse whenever I inhale. And I'm not getting the perfect fit on my face. So this is probably like a medium size mask because I am still getting some leakage on the bottom of the mask. Not a lot like other masks that are usually like a size large on me. So now doing a quick little seal check. I am getting, so I am getting quite a bit of leakage throughout the face. I'm not getting quite a good fit on these, but maybe because like I said, these are more leaning to towards a medium size. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're gonna be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. So as you guys saw from the TSI portion testing of the video, the filtration efficiency results were pretty good, testing at 99.76%. However, the pressure drop is a little bit on the higher side, but we've definitely seen worse. There's definitely a lot more breathable American-made mask out in the market right now. For me, as a small petite face, it didn't fit me properly, but like I said, these can fit a medium-sized face. So I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next in the comment section below, or if you would like to send us any mask or respirator please look at the description box we're going to be leaving our address along with our website which is acumed.com and our master testing data sheet please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in our next video